I didn't know until five years ago that I have the perfect genetic brew for high LP little a, high ApoB. And so number one, every single person listening should have an LP little a done once. 20% of us as a broad-based community have elevated LP little a, and that's genetically mediated. If you're African American, it's 50%. And if yours is under, you know, within the low range, which is 30 milligrams per deciliter, you never have to check it again. It's a one and done. Apo, apo lipoprotein B, apo B is the other one to be looking at. But I think LP little a of the two is the one I think is most significant because it is an independent risk factor for heart disease. And it is seven to eight times more atherogenic than an LDL. That being said, I think for a lot of individuals, it's like we could have known at 25 or 30 that someone has an elevated LP little a, which means it's even more important to be ensuring that metabolic health is emphasized way ahead of pregnancy if they haven't yet gotten pregnant, way ahead of being in perimenopause. And so when I think about like cardiovascular disease risks, we focus a lot on you know the conventional ones, hypertension, diabetes, smoking history, being sedentary. But these other biomarkers, and we know that LP little a, there's very little that will lower that effectively unless it's medical drug therapy. And some of those drugs are very expensive. But I think for a lot of people, it would allow them to make different decisions. And that I think is really important.